Ah, uh, the wonderful world of dating. Now, of course, it can be exciting, nerve-wracking, and downright confusing all at the same time. So if you're out there riding that roller coaster and you want to increase your odds a little bit, you've come to the right place. So jump on board and let's take a ride through the treacherous territory of romance where hearts are won, lost, and sometimes we're just left scratching our heads wondering what in the hell just happened? <laughs> From cringeworthy pickup lines to being too clingy to grooming mishaps, today it's all about the mistakes that we make and how to stop making them. All right, first and foremost, and this is a big one for a whole lot of guys, and it's being overly eager. So picture this. You meet this incredible woman and you're head over heels right from the start. The problem comes in when you start smothering this woman with constant text messages and constant phone calls. And look, enthusiasm is great and everything, but just being overly eager can come across as desperate and it will definitely push her away. Now, I am not suggesting that you need to play silly games and wait three days to message back or anything like that. All I'm saying is to just chill out, relax, and act like you've been there before. Give her some breathing space and let the connection just develop naturally. And also keep in mind that a little mystery about you goes a long way. Now, the next mistake is focusing solely on physical appearance. And of course, man, I completely understand that physical attraction is very important, but it's just not the be all end all. And tons of guys make the mistake of only focusing on a woman's looks and completely ignoring her personality and all of her red flags. <laughs> and at the same time, they're also not getting to know her intelligence level and what her interests even are. Remember, you're looking for a partner, not just a pretty face. At least I think that's what you're looking for. <laughs> Take some time to get to know her on a deeper level and you might be surprised at how much more meaningful that connection becomes. The next mistake, and this is another big one, but it's neglecting your personal grooming. Stay with me here. So look, whether you like it or not, first impressions absolutely matter and your appearance plays a huge part in that initial impression. And you look at yourself in the mirror every single day. So maybe just take like an extra 30 seconds and give yourself a once over to trim up any of those exposed nose hairs or ear hair and make sure your eyebrows aren't overgrown. And just for the record, you don't have to be a fashion icon or even have a perfect body, but taking care of your hygiene and dressing well and smelling good can make a huge difference. So just make an effort to wear clothes that compliment you, invest in some decent cologne and put your best foot forward. And because I just mentioned cologne, the easiest way, in my opinion, to find new fragrances is with Scentbird, who's sponsoring today's video. So Scentbird is like the one-stop fragrance destination. It's one single place to discover and experience brand new fragrances for yourself at an incredibly low cost. Scentbird is a monthly subscription that lets you choose a new designer fragrance to try every month for only $17. And every month, you get to pick what you want, so there's no surprises. So every month, they send you a good sized vial just like this with enough fragrance in it to last the entire month. And of course, Scentbird carries all the big brands like Prada, Gucci, and Versace, as well as these really neat indie labels like Confessions of a Rebel and Heretic. All right, so this month I got Grandmaster by Mind Games, Terrific Tonka by Maison 21G, and I Don't Know What by Dias and Durga. Now, Mind Games is a rich fragrance with notes of spice, coffee, and incense. Terrific Tonka, that's what you might expect. It's a little sweet, and of course, it has that magical note of Tonka bean, which is, of course, the Love Potion fragrance. Now, the next one, I don't know what. So that one can be used as kind of a layering fragrance. Now, layering really isn't my specialty, but I think I need to test it out a little bit more. But if you like layering, different fragrances, like I know a lot of guys do, this one might be perfect for you. So look, I'm gonna put direct links to all three of these down below in the video description so you can go see more about them and read all of the notes. So listen, if you wanna go sign up and start receiving brand new fragrances, use my coupon code 40overfashion2 and get 55% off your first month at Scentbird. That brings it down to just a little over $8 for your very first month. This offer is available in the USA and Canada. And for that price, I think it's definitely worth going to check out. Thank you, Scentbird, for supporting my channel and for sponsoring today's video. 
Okay, now the next mistake is being too self-centered. And look, I get it because sometimes we get a little bit nervous on that first date or when you're first trying to get to know someone. So you end up talking about yourself all the time. But keep in mind that dating is a two-way street and it's critical that you, you strike a balance between talking about yourself and showing genuine interest in that other person. And like I said, it gets pretty easy when you're new to dominate the conversation and only talk about your own achievements and your own hobbies, but don't forget to ask questions and actively listen to her responses. Try to expand on her ideas and her opinions because that shows that you value her thoughts and her experiences. Okay, the next big mistake is rushing into intimacy or pressuring her into it. Patience is a virtue, my friends, and while yes, getting freaky is a natural part of any romantic relationship, but rushing into it too soon can be a major turnoff for a whole lot of women. You've got to respect her boundaries and just let the relationship progress at a comfortable pace for the both of you. So I would say that as a general guideline that the third date is just about right. Because look, if you still want to see her after the second date, and if she still wants to see you after the second date, chances are there's already some sexual tension built up. So the third date is just about right. If that's too long or too short, let me know your thoughts down below. Now, another mistake is being flaky or inconsistent. Listen, consistency is key when it comes to dating and getting to know somebody brand new. And look, once again, at this age, we should all be done playing silly games and we should be able to effectively communicate what we're all looking for. But being flaky and canceling plans or ghosting at the last minute sends a message that you're just not reliable or even serious about pursuing this new relationship. Now, of course, I get it. There are always those unexpected circumstances that pop up, but it's important to communicate that and make an effort to follow through on your commitments. And because I just mentioned communication, the next mistake is just not communicating. And I know that you're smart enough to know this already, but communication is the backbone of any successful relationship. But a lot of guys seem to overlook the importance of it. So whether it's not expressing your feelings or even avoiding those really difficult conversations or even failing to listen to the other person, poor communication leads to a whole lot of misunderstandings and also resentment. Listen, we're all grown-ups here. So practice open and honest communication with the other person, share your thoughts and your emotions and make an effort to actually understand her perspective. Because all of this builds trust and it strengthens the bond between the two of you. Now, another mistake that a lot of older guys sort of fall into is trying to impress her with your spending. And look, I do believe that if you asked her out, you should pay. But there's no need to shower her with extravagant gifts or crazy fancy dinners to try to win her over. And it's nice to be a gentleman, I get that, but throwing a bunch of money around is gonna backfire because it does two things. First, it sends a message that you're just trying too hard, but it also creates this imbalance in the relationship because you just set that bar really high of how this is how things are gonna be. And she'll start to expect that all the time. And then once you back off and slow down on all that extravagance, now there's a problem. It all comes down to being authentic. And I know that's a big buzzword, but you have to be true to yourself, especially at our age. And look, I get it. It's easy to fall into a trap of trying to be someone that you're not in order to impress a woman. However, you can't sustain being somebody else forever and it's going to backfire. Here's the thing about being authentic because it's really, it's the best thing ever. So when you're genuine, you attract those people who appreciate you for who you truly are, not for someone that you're not. And the right people who are into you that are worth your time will be drawn to you. And the people who aren't worth your time won't be. It's like this amazing filter that does a lot of the work for you. And if you missed this video that I made about overcoming your dating anxiety, I think it's definitely worth a few minutes of your time. Please subscribe if you're not already. And as always, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Live well, and I'll see you in the next one.